Hi, I'm Cohen. I'm a design thinker and project consultant currently getting my master's in creativity and change leadership. Today, I'm going to teach you my version of a Kanban. It's a way to organize your to-do list in a way that will direct you and motivate you to get things done. Because being organized makes it easier for you to take action. Welcome to our channel, a little creative, a little organized. Alright, so to start, Kanban is a workflow management system that was started by Japanese manufacturing. This video is going to be how I've adapted it for personal use. What you'll need, post-it notes, marker, and a wall. Put simply, Kanban is an interactive to-do list. This is how it works. So first you want to create your columns. Right now, today, tomorrow, eventually. After your columns are set up, second, you want to categorize your tasks. So these are a couple tasks that I have coming up. I have create website finalization workflow, brief copywriter, activate website case study handover, reprint updated documents for daycare, and create POW for Friday check-ins. So the eventually column holds all the to-dos, and ideally before you start working, or before you finish working the previous day or previous session, you want to categorize all your tasks into your right now, today, and tomorrow columns. The only real rule here is you can only have one thing in your right now column because multitasking is a myth and it's actually impossible to do two things at one time. All right, so right now I'm going to work on create website finalization workflow. At some point today, I'll activate the website case study handover and also brief the copywriter. This can wait until eventually because it's not actually happening until the end of February. And I'll work on this tomorrow because it's just not a priority for me today. Third is just to complete your tasks. So usually when I complete my tasks, I'll crumple them up and throw them away. But if seeing your tasks get done motivates you, then I would recommend making a fifth and final done column. And just migrating your tasks over there. Everybody works and functions differently, and if seeing tasks get completed is motivating to you, then just do what you feel like doing. All right, and here's some tips. Break down big tasks into smaller steps. So instead of build a website, you wanna break it down into smaller steps, like create website finalization workflow, or activate website case study handover, or brief the copywriter. Just make them into bite-sized steps that you can either delegate or work on yourself. Tip number two, always use an action verb. So instead of invoice, you might wanna write something like send invoice. It just feels like you're doing something. And then revisit your Kanban every time you complete something in your right now column. Let's say I finish this website finalization workflow. I personally would just crumple it up, throw it out, and then move over my next task. And so I originally had activate website case study handover and brief copywriter under my today column. Uh, I think I actually have to do the brief copywriter first. And so I'm going to move that to right now. And that's what I'll be working on. So other than the obvious deadline, another way to prioritize tasks is either to uh, work on something that's going to unblock someone else, which is why I decided to do brief copywriter before activate website case study handover. or to work on something else that's important to you, even if it's not urgent. And then another tip is you can color code your tasks. So let's say you have different buckets of types of things you have to do, like homework versus work versus uh, personal life chore type of things. If that's gonna help you categorize better and be able to work through your task list better, feel free to do that. So why does Kanban work? It works because you don't have to waste time trying to figure out what to do. It allows you to prioritize and then reprioritize your tasks easily. It breaks down tasks into smaller manageable steps so it's not super overwhelming. And it just makes it easy for you to start working if you know what's coming up. So that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you loved it, then please subscribe, like the video, ring the bell, all that normal YouTube stuff. And if this is something you really believe in or you find that it's really helpful, please support us by purchasing our merch. This is one of the things that we're hoping to include in the creativity kit. So 
that's where the merch funds are gonna go. All right, hope that was helpful. That's the end. I'm gonna get back to work because I actually have a lot of stuff to get through today.